All right, now that you understand how triggers, rules, and actions work together, let's build something real. And if you just got here and have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you check out our previous video going over automation fundamentals in the description below. In this video, we're creating a complete welcome series from scratch, the kind of automation that turns new subscribers into engaged readers without you lifting a finger. We'll walk through each step so that by the end, you'll have a working automation ready to go. Let's dive in. Below the rules, we have actions. We'll go over the actions needed to build this welcome email, but to get an in-depth look at what all of the actions are and how to use them, be sure to take a look at our knowledge base article linked below. Up first is the send email step. This step will, of course, send an email. When you drag it in, you'll see familiar campaign options like campaign name, subject line, preview text, sender details. The AI subject line generator works here too. Let's go ahead and fill out these campaign details. Click design email to create your content in the drag and drop builder. We'll simply select a template for now, but be sure to check out our drag and drop builder tutorial for an in-depth look at building emails in MailerLite. And then of course, you'll hit done editing when finished. Hit save once you're back in the automation builder to move on to the next step. Remember in the last video, we mentioned that if we don't use delay steps, then everything will happen at the same time. So let's add a delay step after this email. Notice that when I click on the step, a placeholder block with a green outline appears. We want to place it after the email is sent. Let's set the delay for three days and then hit save. Now let's add a condition step. Click it and drag it in below the delay step. For the condition rules, we'll have it set to any rule. Click into the dropdown and then select workflow activity. A new dropdown will appear and you'll be able to see previous steps in the automation, like our previous email step. Let's select that one. You'll get another dropdown that lets you choose what action needs to be taken to activate this condition. We want to have the condition be based on whether or not someone opened the email. So we'll select was opened. Hit save. Now you see that we have two paths with the condition. The yes path means that yes, they did open the email. The no path means no, they did not open the email. Let's say if they did open the email, then let's send them a second email. We'll drag another send email block onto the yes path. Let's go ahead and fill out the campaign details and design your email again, the same way that we did the first email. And keep in mind that this time we are going to select another one of our templates. For those who didn't open the email, we wanna give them a second chance to open that first email. To resend the first email, let's duplicate that email step by clicking the three dots in the top right and click duplicate. Next, you can either click and drag the step where we want it using the handle in the top left of the block. Or you can click the three dots again and then click cut. When you do, you'll see options for where you can paste the step along your automation. Let's put it in the no path. For our own organization, let's change the name of this email to resend welcome series email one, and then hit save. Now that we've sent more emails, let's add delay steps under both paths. Drag the delay step onto the yes path. Let's set it for two days and then hit save. Then do the same for the no path. In this video tutorial, we wanna keep it simple so we won't continue this path too far. We'll add the same condition step as earlier, this time moving those who didn't open the email to our original yes path, and those who didn't will exit the flow. To do this, hit the plus button after the delay step on the no path. Drag in the condition step, and then set the rules. In the dropdown, select workflow activity. Then in the next dropdown, we're going to select resend welcome series email one. Then select was opened and then hit save. Directly below it on the yes path, click the box that says 
Exit Flow. It's a dropdown that you can change to Move to Step. In the dropdown that appears on the right, select Email. Then in the next dropdown, select Email to Welcome Series Email to. You'll see a selection box over the step as you hover over your options. Hit Save. On the No Path, we'll leave it on Exit Flow so that if they didn't open the resend, they'll exit the flow. Now to complete the Welcome Series. To recap, we've sent two emails. For anyone who didn't open the first, we did a resend and made it so that if they open the email, they're brought back to the flow, and if not, they exit the flow. From now on, we're going to be working on this yes path. Click the plus button under the delay and drag in another email step. Go through the steps to add your email. You might want to put something here like a testimonial or something to educate or add value to your subscribers. Again, for our own design, we'll just select a template. But if you're creating your own automation, these templates are a great way to complete your email designs quickly and professionally. Just make sure your fonts and colors match your own branding. And again, when you're back in the builder, hit Save. Next, we'll add one more delay step. Click Delay and drag it in. Let's say three days for this delay. Hit Save. And then we'll add a final email. This one will have a call to action of some kind. This could be something like offering them an opportunity to join your community to get more direct engagement with you, or to purchase your product or service, or maybe to follow you on social media to get a behind the scenes look into your operations. So for now, we've finished building out our simple welcome series email automation. Once you're done, hit the green activate button to activate this automation. Uh, if you'd like to, you can also test out the automation first to make sure that it works the way that you'd like. You can send yourself all the completed emails in this automation. It'll ignore delays, conditions, and A-B tests. And then certain links like unsubscribe or forward are going to be inactive in the test email. Simply fill out your email address and then hit send test to make sure everything is received the way that you would like. Once you've done that, click activate. And that'll wrap it up for our welcome series tutorial. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of how to find your way around our automation builder. And if you follow it along, you've also got a welcome series ready to go. There are even more advanced tools that you can use like our webhook, update custom field, or send internal notification steps. Be sure to check out our knowledge base article for more details on how to make the most of those. In a future automation video, we'll show you how to find and use the data gathered from your automations to better engage and interact with your audience. If this deep dive saved you from manually sending welcome emails at 3 a.m. like some kind of email goblin, maybe hit that subscribe button. Look, I checked the analytics and most of you are watching these without subscribing, and I get it. Commitment is scary, but we're not asking you to move in together. Just click a button. And hey, if you're still on the fence, consider this. While you're debating whether or not to subscribe, you could have already built that automation and had it running. So maybe do both? But start with the automation first because that one actually makes you feel productive. Now stop watching and start building. Your automations could be nurturing leads while you're binge watching cooking shows tonight, which, let's be honest, is probably what you're going to be doing after this.